uh, when we started developing VMS, we actually developed VMS for the legacy handsets. Now, as long as a, you have a 3G phone with capable of making a video call, you'll be able to use the system as well. But that is the next system, the next step. We are starting off with the VMS for smartphones. Two months down the lane, we'll be on legacy as well. Wow. Now, if you just uh, joined us in this interview, we are talking about Necheki Live, which is also in English, see what I'm saying. This is about video messaging, where you take uh, a video clip of whatever you want to communicate to the other party, and then you record and send it just the same way you can send your SMS. Now, what we're talking about here is the fact that you're able to look at the emotions if you're talking about for instance uh, yesterday if your loved one uh, did not send you a gift for valentine's and you're very upset so you can record your frowning face and tell them you're so mad you're not liking how things are moving and then you send this video message and they're able to read uh, the expression on your faces so that is what we're talking about this afternoon Nicheki live now uh, george i just want uh, you to recap this um, is, it, is, is the software uh, only applicable to Androids or can we also have other uh, subscribers or phone users or applications uh, having access to the software? Yes. Now the difference between our VMS in respect to other systems is that you are able to send video messages across all mobile uh, manufacturers. If it's a Samsung, if it's a Blackberry, if, it's a, if it is a, an iPhone. Androids. These days we talk about Androids. We don't talk about maybe Samsung or Blackberries. We talk about the, the operating system. So that is Android. That is uh, Symbian for the Nokias. That is the Blackberries. They have this, their system. Then you have the iPhone. Mm -hmm. But they are able to communicate. Mm -hmm. Our VMS is able to communicate with all the, the systems that are there in the market today. And another, I just want you to recap uh, the explanation that you gave us earlier yeah. uh, for the sake of those who are jo uh, joining us in the interview yeah. who did not get to understand how it goes about. Yeah. Just go through the first step of, you know, having to install this on your phone. Yes. What is the first step? The first step is you go to your respective markets. When we talk about the mobile technology, we have the mobile apps and all those applications are always centered or stored in their respective markets. If it is Android, you go to the markets. If it is iPhone, you go to iStore or iTunes. You click, you search for VMS. It comes up, you click on it. It's installed into your mobile software. It's free of charge, by the way. And once you register with a few clicks, enter your telephone number, enter your email address, your country, and off it goes. You get an activation code, you put it into the the system and you're free to start using the VMS. Very now, simple, in about five minutes you're up and going. Now uh, assuming I'm sending you uh, a VMS, yes. probably I'm talking to you about a situation happening, you're in Stockholm, yes. I'm in Nairobi and I want to tell you about uh, something happening in Nairobi, something unfolding. Yes. Uh, what is the case scenario like, how much time am I expected to wait for you to give a reply? Is it instant just like it is with text messages once it indicates it's delivered you already have it on the other end oh yes uh, it goes pretty fast what uh, sms goes faster than a vms why because of the it's it's a heavy it's a heavy content as regard to the text but the uploading is quite fast downloading is also quite fast so in about two minutes after you take the video and send the recipient is having the video right there. So what you're saying is the faster your internet speed, the faster you're able to do this. That's right. What is the maximum uh, capacity that it can send? Yeah, now this is also where we have VMS as very superior to other systems. You remember MMS never really worked anywhere and it was also associated with pictures. VMS supports up to five minutes of video, high quality, high definition video. That is a and whole that movie. Is a lot. Absolutely. Five minutes. Absolutely. That's why it makes it a very ideal platform for companies to do their marketing mm -hmm. through the VMS platform. Uh, looking at uh, this innovation, uh, you said you're partnering with Iron Road, uh, the Swedish company. 
in uh, introducing this into the African market. Uh, right. Do we have this uh, software already running in any part of this continent? No, we decided to target Kenya first. Why? For reasons. Kenya's uh, mobile penetration is very high. The Kenyan people have also adopted mobile technology very well. Look at M-Pesa, look at uh, the number of developers that are d developing applications for the mobile. So we decided to start off with Kenya and then we spread out. So our next, next uh, destination will be in Uganda, Rwanda, then South Africa, then we are off to West Africa. But Kenya is the first country in the African continent. And me being a Kenyan, I'm very proud to, that we chose Kenya first. Now I'm tempted to ask, uh, you're partnering with a Swedish company. Uh, yeah. How did you, you know, like get in contact with uh, Iron Road for yeah. you to be able to s establish top brand in Kenya yeah. and look at uh, this uh, innovation? Well, uh, it's a long story, but I left, Ken I'm myself, I'm Kenyan. I left Kenya in 1984. That's a long time ago, almost 30 wow, years. I'm not sure I was born. Uh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> But uh, so I've been based in, in Stockholm, although I've also traveled to study in Switzerland and in England. Along that path, you get to meet people. And that way, a very good friend of mine is uh, Magnus Kneeding, who is the CEO of Iron Road, gave me this idea. And uh, from there on, we, I bought some shares in the mother company, and then we started rolling. So how long ago was that? Uh, this was 2007, they, started, they launched it worldwide. They started off with Sweden, Europe, the USA, Philippines, Indonesia. And as you know, Indonesia, no, the Philippines, that's where they send most SMSs in the world. Really? They can even text SMS without removing their phones from the pockets. That good there. But once we launched the VMS in the Philippines, it was just a success. Wow. But they can't beat us in tweeting because yeah. we are, I think... Africa's second best treating na uh, na nation. Yes. Now, looking at uh, the issue about uh, video SMSing and other innovat uh, innovations that are coming up, in, yeah. you know, in as far as the technology world is concerned, uh, we did have recently uh, Google introduced the Google Chrome, uh, the yeah. Android Chrome, yes. uh, which you can also use to, you know, if you want to trade on the stock uh, stock exchange, That's it's right. just an application you download and you're able to trade live That's right. in the Nairobi Stock Exchange, for instance. That's right. Now, there's so many innovations that are coming up. Um, mm. In your assessment, yes. do we have a prior government legislation that w is going to control this? Because, mm -hmm. you know, this is where technology, again, mm. is one point that is very, uh, very difficult to control. Mm. Yes. Uh, you l uh, if you can remember the issue about uh, the hacking of emails and, you know, the phones, That's the right. cases we had recently, yeah. cost people jobs. So right. how, how, how is your assessment of the Kenyan regulatory framework? Yeah, I think it's always difficult for governments to start regulating something they don't really understand. And the same case, not only in Kenya, but also in Europe and elsewhere. Now, a case in point is when I was looking for regulations governing the data protection. So I turned to CCK of Kenya. They did not have any. I, they referred me to the Ministry of Information. There I got a kind of a draft. So I think we are still having issues where I think government, of course, they'll have to lead in the policy making, but I think they should also get in to partnership with IT providers and IT solution providers in order to gain a common ground into this very, very sensitive area. Wow, thank you very much, George. Uh, George Thulge there, who is the chief executive of Top Brands, an innovative company that has actually come into the market uh, to introduce Nicheki Live, of, or rather video message uh, service.